we're answering your COVID-19 related questions in our ongoing City News and 680 News Facebook Live Q&A series. Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Vinita Dubey, joined us again this week. And this time around, we had many questions about testing and why the city is not testing everyone across the board, including those who are not showing symptoms. Here's what the doctor had to say. Testing everyone um, who has no symptoms might help us to find a few people who are asymptomatic. The proportion of people who are truly asymptomatic and spreading in the population is actually not as high as, as we think it is. It's something that we're, we're testing. We've actually tested now most people in long-term care homes, and we found a very, very small proportion who tested positive and were asymptomatic. By and large, most people who test positive have symptoms or if they're asymptomatic and they're tested, they have symptoms 48 hours later. Okay, so what you're saying is if I get tested today, I might not show up as positive, but a few days later I could. And that's the other thing, exactly. So you could test negative today, but it doesn't mean that you don't have the virus that's incubating within you. And so two days later, if you get symptoms and we test you then, you could be positive. And so the negative test is only good on the day that it is done. And if you test negative today and you get results three days from now, it does not guarantee that you're negative three days from now. Right. So testing everybody then doesn't really give us any indication of the spread of the virus or how many people have it or anything like that. That's right. And I think we need to be careful about using our tests properly. You know, there might be certain circumstances where we might test people who don't have symptoms yet. Uh, for example, in a child care setting or in a long term care setting. But to go to every single house, every single person in Ontario and to test them right now um, is not part of the strategy. We'll be doing more Q&A's on different COVID-19 related topics in the coming weeks. So be sure to keep an eye on our social channels to submit your questions. For more of today's session, plus to watch the full video, you can go to our websites, citynews.ca and 680news.com. Point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now, and a link will pop up to take you directly to the article. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.